Hello, welcome to Bass Production. It's your boy Bakar King Conte. Thank you for watching this video. This is the part two of the Pujahun District documentary. Um, first of all, before we continue with this video, I would like to answer some questions. I believe many people have been asking, like, why Pujahun Town? Why Pujahun District? Why not Freetown, the capital city? Why not Bo Town or Bo District? Why not Kenima? All this kind of question. And um, I would like to give you an answer. My own personal view, me and my crew, we decided that with the president and the government of the APC agenda for change, this is a change that has to affect the whole country as a whole, not just the major cities. And for us to find out the truth about how this change has affected every part of Sierra Leone, we needed to focus in the smallest districts. And as Pujahun Town is one of the districts with the lowest population in Sierra Leone, we decided that it's about time for us to visit Pujahun Town and also a district that has been neglected for decades. So that's the reason why we choose Pujahun. And um, if we are talking about the healthcare system, how it's affected all Sierra Leoneans, we need to go to smaller towns and villages to know how it works there. Because we know in the cities, you know, it's always the first priorities for the wealth of a country to be shared among the people. So that's the reason why we choose Pujahun District. So as you have seen in part one, where we explain about the infrastructure development in Pujahun Town and Pujahun District as a whole that is going on. Now we want to take you further about several other things that the government has provided for the indigenous Mende people of Pujahun town. I won't say the Mende people, the whole, um, because there are different nationalities or different tribes living in um, Pujahun district. So we want to give you this information about what and what has been taking place between the period of 2007 to 2012. So um, I hope you will enjoy this video. And um, I would like to advise you again that because most of the conversation took place in Mende and um, we would like to explain to people in the Creole and English and translate it what these people we are talking and um, if there are any questions you may want to ask please after watching this video feel free to ask your questions and I hope I will be able to answer your questions thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and God bless you well my name is Hassan Kainesi um, I live in Pujol. I do work with a with a peace building organization. We in a KNSL PYD. Uh, we don't be involved in peace building since 2005. So we don't be on Pujol, in a Pujol, and the ground here for um, some like seven to eight years now. We they try for build peace and we they try for bridge communities uh, for living social cohesion and many other efforts for CCA people their lives them um, stabilize and then then continue with their daily activities unhindered. Okay, so this organization would have really formed this organization? Well, um, we get Mr. Edward Mando, he really lived in Germany, he is the founder for PYD, but PYD gets a membership of people that way um, believe in the vision of Mr. Mando for push this community forward. And now that's exactly what they do. We are bringing on board those who uh, believe in the vision for see a, a stabilized community, a community devoid of confusion, devoid of uh, uh, intimidation, and many other things. I mean, main question to you is what do you feel say this government don't do in the area of peace building for this country, and particularly when I feel interest? You know, of interest to them. Well, like what you say, um, we did peace building, and we um, don't see uh, that the government, of course, they do many, many things for sustain the peace, uh, where we don't get many, many years ago. Because, um, as you can see, uh, before this time, there has been many um, 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 issues around where they create conflict. You know, we go cause conflict. For example, like when they talk about the involvement of chiefs. 
uh, you know, into electioneering process where they make them people they rise against them. But basically, the sensitization is what we don't do, and I'm sure with the political uh, will, you know, um, we don't see say there is a, 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 a drop of that kind of behavior. We don't make awareness day, and the people believe that um, 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 the system where they uh, they create room for let them express, you know, their, their views, you know, um, 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 without any any harassment or intimidation. Me understanding really now that even the president be called the chiefs uh, for talk to them for let them not get uh, business with uh, elections. Let them allow the people for choose the way. That's really commendable because we want to see that this society, you know, the people then they, they, they get their own rights and, and, and they, they execute them to the fullest and make them get the peace where they need for get in any country. Probably the only thing we are going to talk now that normally it is this way, but we the hope that as we go close to elections, you know, the tension will go rise so much we go make people then begin go into violent behavior. But at it is, I'm sure uh, we are satisfied that there is stability in this country. So we understand that the chairman of the Trade Union of the District. No, the Secretary. 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 the Secretary. Okay, good. So now, what is the Trade Union organization here about? The most important aims of Trade Union are for trade, for individual progress and community. For trading is for everybody, irrespective of not only getting money, but the visa all the food at the top, the need for buy rental, the need for buy a cup of rice, the need for buy a plane, a fiat. So you don't get for go go or go anywhere to buy. I to buy. So it's like it's for everybody. Okay, good. So what do you think government don't do for help now as trade as traders union? I don't say because well, this government, government uh, we don't see structure where you know ever been in when I store them. First, they will be do business in the tables no more, under rain, under sun. But now they under store them, when I lock them, we store them, market them safe, left and they will go lay down the house, no pay will come, we meet and safe. So we we'll tell God thank you. We will tell the government. I say, oh. Okay, and like if we're watching the general membership, there are things they're happy about, so I think we Then gladly. Under that sun, then this ground too, be colored to all my will get the stuff. Okay. The few will get, we gladly. But we sympathize with others, they will not get. That's not the only thing. So you want to say now, what you did, appeal to government for letting have some more stuff in Pujol? This is the, 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 the appeal I have, as a Secretary General. They appeal that government, what you don't do, we don't see her, we don't taste her. It's sweet. We want to add more. And this is the government, I don't try, we don't see. The layman a village na yapu them, although not a village per se, but uh, they don't begin giving money, the loan. Because at your time, we don't begin to get that. The union you know, trust man, they give money to people who are traders. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, first time, na, na, na be Lebanese, they don't want to get that facility. The white them. But now, you don't come down to Sierra Leone. So you recommend this government for that? I recommend the government, 100%. Okay. What else you want this government do for now, apart from the We want this government to do more of this store, they improve on them. They want one big store. When I trade that they would they come outside camp and they run the way this area. So they need for drop them, bond to the outside, you go get big store. So don't clean the open arm, they can go outside and they go different uh, prison centers. Then they come outside and they go again. Because we get series of the way in this area. This Pujan district is a very lucrative site for, for, for reason. We get Bondapi, we get Ponima, we get Bandajuma, and so on. So traders then they come in here yeah, almost every week. So they need for get places like they put them on them. Safe. So if you the greatest government for this past five years, as far as you as a trader concerned, who's part whose grade you will be there? The grade for this government, if I told I'm to grade this government. Uh, it not going to be hundred percent, but it go there around seventy five or even ninety five percent. But nobody not going to be perfect hundred percent. Alright.
um, government maternity hospital, mm -hmm. one of the initiatives of the government for free healthcare for pregnant women lactating children and children under five, lactating women and children under five. So now the government, the new government hospital is, as you can see, the environment, the green atmosphere, mm -hmm. I see the flowers then we didn't put around, the fence for protect, you know, the new side of the wall. Mm -hmm. And I, like I see no more, you don't see how it look like this now. Put you on this for many kind of facility there. They, they very modernized. And now one of the things is in this we will look for in the country and we don't see see in the happen. This is one of the things that we would, we would be the fish in the, the good initiatives in this way because with the present government and the president they do towards the agenda of change. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is not the um, the waiting area, as you can see, very very modernized, modernized chairs. As you can see here, safe delivery, a UNICEF, and children care in hospital. Now this is UNICEF, doctors with Africa. Who is that lady? I am her mother. The mother replied. Did you give birth to her at the hospital? She replied no. Do you know anyone who has given birth to at the hospital during your own time? She replied no. Um, during this particular interview, our interviewer was trying to make a contrast between the olden days and the new generation. Whereas back in the days, like the mother was saying, you know, she had never given birth to the at the hospital or neither get free medication. Um, now he's trying to tell her that you know this new generation, you know, they have got this opportunity for them to get um, uh, free Medicare for their newborn babies and even the mothers during pregnancy. You know, they get free medical care and everything. So therefore, there is a big difference um, from the past and now to the present. So which I mean, the mother really, really appreciate. Uh, the only thing is they are requesting for more drugs to be available at the hospital. You know, um, so this was uh, the appreciation they were showing to the government and they applaud the government for the good work and initiative and that um, they hope it will continue. And so now, um, um, talk to me if the president um, who made this initiative for this free health care is standing in front of you, uh, what would be your message to him? Well, um, I would just want to thank him um, for this development. It is very, very productive. I understand that this now you second picking and you don't come born there. And as a matter of fact, they are not twin there, not so. Yes. Okay, look the young, beautiful angels there. Uh, they don't. Boys there or girls? Yeah. Two or girls. girls. Yeah. Okay, good. So, what I want to ask you, mm -hmm. you be don't born from where you born that first picking now, under this free medical care? Yes. Okay. From where you born then picking then? Government, you still begin, you still continue for bringing them our hospital for free yes. and uh, get you medicine for free. Yes. And you don't pay nothing for them. Mm -hmm. And then you don't come born then. And then they switch you now, you don't come born there or back, not just so? Yes. 
Ah, uh, okay, well, that's good. I'm glad you read that on this. So, what do you want to tell the pa? <coughs> let them continue this thing or let them cut off? No, let them continue. Let okay. them cut off. Okay. Let them continue that. Yes, so they will not eat free. They eat free. The medicine are free. They eat free. The medicine are free. Yeah. They eat free. The picking, anything yeah. happened to them are free. <coughs> wow. And then you survey you, the comrades, they give medicine there, and then it's not issue. During this process, they can advise you now how to take care of the picking them. Then the tissue now? With another day. Yeah. Okay. Then they take classes they own that they attend for take teach on how to take care of an picking and also. Yes. And then hygiene for cleanliness. Hey, yeah, well this program good mm -hmm. So thank you, yeah? Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. God bless. Yeah, here. Mm -hmm. I buy it away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They could not treat them, they would take care of them, they will not throw away them, they could never beat them, they could educate them, they will not abuse them, they will encourage them, they will not refuse them, they could control them, they could clothe them, feel for them and feed them, they will not trap them, they will take them, they will begin them, they will form and them, they will begin for good school. Okay, how long you know Settlement with a long bill. Mm -hmm. You can see each person get in your own house and toilet as a family. So we don't come for can know from the amputee they how they feel about the way we this country don't quiet and the peaceful way we will continue for living. Wait. 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 Yeah. You already know what it is. Nice world movement. I'm back again. Shout out to my man SB. We're making this shit day. <laughs> and shout out to my haters. I'm working for you. Huh. If you believe you can follow your dreams, then you better believe, better believe that you can do anything. You can do anything, anything you want. Yeah, you can do I'm a yellow. Obiabe. Yeah, Obiabe. Adam of Fana. Obiabe Bedala. Ah, Marco Massacre. Marco Massacre. Mr. Chamoka. Yeah, Obiabe. That's a pluma. Keke. Ibrahim Kuruma. Ibrahim Kuruma. Obiabe. I'm out of Vandy. Okay. Namuafa. Um, the reason why we are here is to get your uh, own view about this present government on what they are doing. Um, as we look around, we see beautiful houses, and we just want to know I mean, how you get them, who built them for you. It is the government who built this house I mean, for us. You know, I'm glad for this house because during the rebel war, the suffering we went through was tremendous. But now, thank God for where I'm living. I am glad after all the suffering I have been through, I have been given a house with a roof and everything is well furnished. Even when it's raining, I can hear the rain as well. So I'm really, really happy. What about you, Mr. Kemokai? Well, um, first of all, I want to thank God for having this house. 
um, taking into consideration, you know, the struggles um, I've been through. You know, now when I'm in this house, I just don't think about it anymore. So, um, uh, do you want to say the U.S. government is good? Or? Well, I don't know if you're asking a question because you just want to ask a question, but everyone knows that it's visible that, you know, um, this government is a good government. So, um, basically, um, all of these amputees that are living in this amputee housing here have similar stories, you know, as you know, during the war, most people have I mean, lost their arms and feet, you know, due to the brutal civil war of the RUF and uh, other um, people, you know, so therefore, you know, without the help of the government, you know, life could have been devastated and, you know, dangerous for for them but now you know they are happy they, they are so so happy that you know the government is really thinking about them you know and uh, for us experiencing their story you know was you know um, a really good thing you know because these are the kind of things that I mean, we want to um, uh, portray these are the kind of things we want to encourage you know now governments or the any other government that will come after that that you know they have to take care of their people you know and mostly people who are in need of their help and uh, this is the story that I mean, we want to show out and uh, we went all the way down to the remote places to get the story out uh, so therefore you know they appreciate the government they applaud the government they want to thank him they want to thank the president for his um, uh, initiative to help them out so they are very grateful and they want us to pass this message to the president of Sierra Leone and the government of Sierra Leone um, well for me um, I'm very happy at the same time because I was going around without having a place to sleep and uh, now they are giving me this place and I really appreciate it and besides you know they have um, given me the post as a chair lady here you know, so therefore I really really appreciate me you know, commenting on this government okay well now um you know, as some people have been saying, that um, this government is a government for the um, uh, Kono people, for the um, Bombali people, you know. But um, if I'm going to ask you first, um, a question about what you think about that, do you think um, uh, this government only care about um, uh, one particular side? So um, after visiting the amputees housing, we therefore decided to go to our next location, which is um, Bondapi. Bondapi is a village next to Pujahon town. Basically, the reason why we chose Bondapi is because we have heard that uh, the government of His Excellency, they are constructing a new jetty. Basically, um, this is a town that is not far from uh, a village that is not far from the main town. So we wanted to go and see um, what this jetty is built for and uh, what would be the impact for the locals around this um, surrounding towns and villages. You know, because previously, you know, um, they have had incidents of um, uh, people who are fishermen and women who were losing their lives due to the depth of the water, you know, and secondly, some of them I mean, walk on the water and then they will have cuts on their feet or their foot in order to get uh, their product um, uh, to the land, to an open area. So therefore, um, the government recognized um, uh, the struggles these people are going through. Therefore, um, the government of um, His Excellency decided that you know they have to build them this um, jetty, which will help minimize the loss of life.